Get in here, get in here, honey. Child, hurry up and get in here. You better hurry up because you are in luck today. In this candy apple tutorial, not only will I show you how to achieve this pretty pink shimmer color for your candy apples, but I will show you how to make candy apples two days in advance before Halloween or any event. I will show you how to package your candy apples and store them inside your refrigerator until Halloween. It's guaranteed, honey, guaranteed that you'll get 12 medium or large candy apples using the best candy apple recipe in town. This candy apple recipe actually can get you up to 24 small candy apples and some viewers are even saying they are getting up to 30 candy apples non-stop without reheating their candy apple mixture. Now that's what you call a true southern mountain gal candy apple recipe honey. This is Candy Apple TV with DIY Queen Diva. you use my candy apple cleaning method you're going to use lemon juice one cup baking soda two tablespoons and salt one tablespoon now it's up to you if you want to squeeze lemons or use the lemon juice and I'm talking about the real lemon juice in the bottle this is just too much work. However, real lemons get your apples squeaky clean. And I'm gonna show you how squeaky clean these apples get using this lemon juice. I'm already tired, so eventually I am going to add lemon juice in a bottle. So you can use squeezed lemons here or lemon juice in the bottle. My arms and hands are tired. I have already cut open some lemons. So I am going to go ahead and squeeze the ones that I have. You definitely need to put in some arm work. All of this work and this is how much lemon juice I have. Okay, I need to add some lemon juice. Work smarter, not harder. But lemon juice, squeeze lemon juice, really get those apples squeaky clean. Here I'm putting in two tablespoons of baking soda. Do not put this on the stove until you Stir this up with your salt, baking soda, and lemon juice because it can spill over and you don't want that. Bring your candy apple cleaning method to a boil. Leave it in the boiling water for six seconds. Take a paper towel and dry your apples off. Go ahead and clean your apples now because you have a 24 to 48 hour wait period before you dip your apples. So you could go ahead and clean your apples now, two days in advance. If your apples are still bright green, you haven't cleaned them, they need to look like this. Insert your wooden sticks. Pay attention to the top of your apple to make sure you have really dry the top part off because this is where the bubbles form the most on candy apples but this apple is squeaky clean with that lemon juice place your paper straws over your wooden stick you want to hear a crunch once you hear that crunch sound and shake the apple well you have inserted your wooden stick and paper straw inside the apple well with the best candy apple recipe six for one six cups of sugar four cups of water and one cup of light corn syrup is what i am using today in this pink shimmer candy apple tutorial this candy apple recipe is top-notch 
you should not have any problems dipping 12 and up to 24, although some claim they're getting 30 candy apples. You should not have a problem with this candy apple recipe. Your candy apple mixture should never be thick throughout the whole time. You should be able to eventually stir your candy apple mixture. Your candy apple mixture needs to flow. It should not be stiff. It needs to flow like this. I always add my flavoring at the beginning. My default flavor here is butter vanilla. I use two teaspoons. You can use whatever flavor you like. This is my favorite. Make sure you have a candy thermometer, guys. You need a candy thermometer. I need another one. Pay attention to the top part of your apple. Make sure that's really dried. My candy apple mixture has reached 300 degrees. This is Deco Pack Airbrush Food Coloring. This is not a metallic, this is a pink shimmer, but it works like metallic because it's water based. So I am adding some. I do not measure um, my water base airbrush food coloring because I need to make sure I am going to get the color. With airbrush food coloring, your candy apples can be translucent easily. So what I would do is test one apple first. This looks translucent. I can see through the apple. I am going to add some more color and try a second apple just to make sure that one is not translucent as well. I'll do this until I get the right color. I am not worried about this candy apple mixture thickening up because this is water-based. Now, if I was using regular gel food coloring, there's no way I would be squirting all of this gel food coloring. This is the color that I am trying to achieve. So what I will do is come back to my first apple because I need to let that dry to pull up off the parchment paper. I will just go ahead and finish all of my apples. This is real time. I do not stop any time to reheat my candy apple mixture. This is non-stop. Let me know down in the comment section if you have ever used 641 candy apple recipe and let me know how well 
it has worked for you. These are my last two apples, and I need to re dip the first pink candy apple. Look at this candy apple mixture. Look how flowy it is. None thick. I can dip 12 more candy apples. This is the best candy apple recipe in town. This is the translucent apple that I dipped at first I need to make it look like the other candy apples perfect now remember I told you to pay attention to one of the apples are you guys paying attention let me know in the comment section have so much candy left I know I can get 12 more candy apples look look at those bubbles I didn't wipe this apple well during my 24 hour wait period so this is what happens when you don't wipe your apples down good in order to store your apples in advance you want to put your candy apples in the candy apple bags, leave your bags open. Do not close them until the day of the event. Take them out the refrigerator and tie them up. That's it. Now you have your candy apples in advance. Don't forget to add your cute candy apple bows. If you have enjoyed this candy apple tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next candy apple tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video.